Hello, so today we're going to learn the story of the Tower of Babel. So the story happened later on from the story of Noah. So Noah's children all had children, they all had children, soon there was lots of people again. And God had commanded them all to spread out over the earth. But some of those people thought they knew better. But you know, God always knows what's best for us and that's why it's important that we listen to him because he always knows what's best for us and he knew it was best for everybody to spread out not to all live together but a group of people thought they knew better and you know when we are pr proud we think that we know better and there is a bible verse in proverbs that said says pride cometh before a fall so if we're going to be proud something's going to happen that's going to make us be embarrassed so these people were proud and they decided that they all wanted to live together and they wanted to make a really big tower that would go right up to heaven or right up to the sky. And they wanted to be very important and that's why they wanted to build such a big tower. So they were proud. So they all worked really hard building this big tower. But God didn't like what he saw. He knew it was not best for them to all live together. And so he's not going to send a flood again. With Noah, he promised he would never send a flood again. So this time he's going to do something different to make them listen to him. So before this, they all could speak the same language. So it was easy for them to live together and work together. But on this one morning, they all started speaking different languages. Just like that, God could make these people speak all different languages. That is how amazing and great God is. Because languages are, there's a lot of words to every language and it can be very hard to learn a different language. So on this morning, one person is speaking Dutch. Another person is speaking Chinese. Another person is speaking Afrikaans. And all these people are speaking different languages. And it's very hard to communicate and to work together when you can't speak the same language. So these people were forced to obey God and to spread out. So all of the people who would speak the same language as another group would go together with them. So for example, the Chinese people went to China, the Dutch people went to Holland, the South African people went to Af uh, South Africa, or however it went, they all spread out and they had to listen to God. And it is always best to listen to God. And pride cometh before a fall. They thought they were really clever. They thought they could make a really neat tower. And yet just like that, pride came before a fall. Just like that, God changed it. And they all spoke different languages. So it's always best to obey God. So God always knows what's best for us. This song is called, If You're Gonna Be Proud, You Better Watch Out. Mm -hmm. And this song is called God Knows What's Best. God. 